Listen up, men. Women have a hard time opening up to a man until you do this. And we're going to get into this in a second. But I want to address a problem we have in the dating marketplace today. And it seems like dating today just seems like an extended version of friends with benefits. That's right, an extended version of friends with benefits. And I believe part of the problem is you men. Well, there is a significant percentage of you men that do want a serious relationship. There is also an equally significant, if not more significant group of men who want companionship, they want connection, they want sex, but they want it on their terms, okay? In addition, many of those men are only capable of giving a little bit of attention, a little bit of affection, but they want sex on their terms. So I want to address this first and foremost, that for those of you men who want a significant relationship, it's time to be intentional in your practice. In other words, be intentional in your dating. Be respectful of women in your dating environment. And most important, be transparent. What that means is if something is material to a potential relationship, then you need to be upfront about it sooner rather than later. So why is it that women can't open up? Well, most of us men have been indoctrinated with the belief that women have no problem expressing their emotions and feelings. And while to some degree, I think that's true, women can actually vomit their emotions and their feelings. In other words, they can spew it all out. It's one of the reasons why men keep continually saying, I don't like drama because that's spewing out your emotions, your feelings without any filter. There is a significant group of women that have a hard time opening up to a man. And I just want you to know that this is particularly because They have suffered childhood wounds and adult traumas, childhood wounds and adult traumas that makes it difficult for them to actually open up to a man. And while I'm going to recommend this book to you right now, I just want you to know, ideally, women need to be reading this as well. And the book is known as The Hoffman Process, The Hoffman Process. There's a link below to get all the books I recommend. I recommend you do this. It's a great book to heal your childhood wounds and your adult traumas so you can be better prepared to open up emotionally in relationship. In particular, I invite you to read another book. This is hugely important. And while the title says Nonviolent Communication written by Marshall Rosenberg, this is Compassionate Communication. Compassionate Communication. This will help you in expressing yourself in such a way to be seen, heard, and understood by a future partner. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Okay, so what makes some women emotionally constipated, if you will, and difficult for women to open up? You know, I think there are, as I said earlier, some significant women who have been traumatized and whatnot. And I think some women just haven't been able to be with a man who can fully express themselves because the man hasn't done the following. So the first thing I'm inviting all you men to do going forward is set an example with the person that you're dating. Set an example by being as open as possible. What does that look like? without compromising yourself, (coughs) excuse me, I want you to be vulnerable. I want you to be vulnerable. I want you to be authentic. And as I said before, I want you to be transparent. It is so critically important to, to develop true intimacy with another person. And by the way, guys, if you're watching this, I want you to know something. There is nothing more juicier, delicious than being with a partner you can truly be yourself to on an emotional level. And emotional intimacy is the real juicy fruit of being in a relationship when you can be with someone where you can be yourself. So I invite you to be as open as possible without compromising yourself. And I know all the red pill men will tell you, you need to be stoic and never show your emotions and feelings and that you're the leader of the relationship and the woman must submit to you and all that kind of stuff. But let me just tell you, those power dynamic type relationships, they're not as fulfilling as a relationship that is co-created with another human being. I invite you to read another book. Love this book. It's called If the Buddha Dated, If the Buddha Dated. 
This throws out the bullshit gender rhetoric and says, how can we connect with another human being at a heart center level? And I invite you men to begin to explore this because the second thing I want you to do is don't force any relationship. Don't force a relationship. And the relationship should happen in an organic sense. If you're trying to force an agenda, if you're love bombing, if you're expressing this amazing, oh my God, I feel so wonderful with you and whatnot, then you're not building the real deep roots of trust. That's right, the deep roots of trust. And when you want to build trust with someone, forcing a relationship will only scare a person away. That doesn't mean you can't be excited. That doesn't mean you can't take initiative. I invite you to be excited, take initiative. But at the same time, don't force a relationship. It should be a mutual investment. If a woman isn't investing in you, dudes, blow her off. You, I mean, if a woman isn't mutually investing in you, your job is not, you know, what your job is not to convince her to like you. Let me repeat that. Your job is not to convince her to like you. Your job is to show up being as open as possible, setting an example, as I said, being intentional, being respectful. Now, another way to get a woman to open up, if she has a hard time opening up, number three, is ask questions about using feeling statements. Instead of saying, how's your day going? Did you have a good day? I hope you had a good day. Does anyone remember that from Seinfeld? Ask question, how'd you feel about your day today? Did anything special happen to you? You know, special, feel. These words evoke an opportunity to get into our heart. Now, some of you men have difficulty to do this. So if you're going to ask these questions of her, I invite you to explore those same questions for yourself. How did you feel about today? Think of feeling words, happy, sad, joyful, disgust, fearful. You know, start examining feelings. I invite you to read another book. It's called Emotional Intimacy by Robert Masters. Folks, guys, if you're watching my channel, I'm going to overload you with lots of books, okay? In fact, if you haven't read my book, what the heck is self-love anyway? A journey of personal development, self-help, and spiritual work. I invite you to read this book. It has nothing to do with dating. It's all about connecting with your heart because isn't that what this is all about? Connecting with someone's heart? Well, I'm inviting you men to connect with your own heart first. You know, something I like to do is take a long trip with somebody and talk to them while in the car. You're in an environment where you can really dive into a lot of things while you're just sim sim simply talking together. That's why, you know, I'm, I'm fine with Netflix and chill. I'm fine at chilling at each other's home and sitting across from one another on a couch and just talking with another human being can bring you so much joy especially when you go down rabbit hole conversations. Guys, I want to share with you a meme that I love and I hope you appreciate as much as I do. But I'm just going to take me a second to pull this up. The meme says the following. I hate small talk. I want to talk about atoms, death, aliens, sex, magic, intellect, the meaning of life, faraway galaxies, music that makes you feel different, memories the lies you've told, your flaws, your favorite sense, your childhood, what keeps you up at night, your insecurity and fears. I like people with depth who speak with emotion from a twisted mind. I don't want to know what's up. Go Google it. It's called I Hate Small Talk. Uh, find that meme. You know, guys, true love happens in the mundane, doing the mundane things, finding mutual interest hobbies, but even the mundane of going to Costco together and go shopping. It's in those spaces where you can truly bond and connect with another person. And if you're with a woman who struggles with them, then give her some room, give her some space, but also don't compromise your boundary. If a woman isn't capable of opening up to you, I'm not here to suggest that you hold out. You know, it takes about 90 days to build enough connection with another human being. And if they're not capable of, of meeting you where you're at, if you're making investment and she's not meeting you where you're at, both on an emotional and on a physical level, then she's not the right woman for you. 
And it's better to walk away from someone who can't meet you than trying to chase a woman to convince her to like you. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating? Please let me know if it is. Post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as well. Guys, I'm going to wrap up on this one thought. I want to invite you all to remember to be intentional in your process of connecting with another human being. And more importantly, treat them with respect. Treat them as you would treat someone really important in your life. Because a lot of men treat women with disrespect. And I'm here to invite you to change that narrative. I, I doubt that the guy that's uh, disrespectful is going to listen to me, but it's just a reminder for those gentlemen out there. And I hope you found value in this. All right, guys. Thanks a bunch for allowing me to share. Have a great day. Bye now.